to dive into the Kardashians a little bit, but I also want to talk about manipulating media and publicity stunts and what happens with these actors, or I should say these reality stars, celebrities these days. So first thing off, Kardashians are coming back for 20 episodes on Hulu. That just came out today. 20 more episodes. They're extending it. Of course they are. But the question is, how do they stay relevant? That's the big question. How do a show like this keep going and going and going? Well, let's look at some publicity stunts. Now, are these stunts or are they actual things that are happening and then the media is abusing them or putting them in the light the bad way? You be the judge of that. The first one, Kim Kardashian. They're calling her vile for abandoning her daughter, Northwest, who's nine, in a video outside the NYCD hotel, uh, which was it was during the Met Gala. Uh, uh, in New York City, outside the Met Gala, they said that they left her alone and she's a horrible mother and they took pictures and she's by herself upset and they said, oh, she's so upset with the paparazzi. That happened. On top of that, there's um, there's this another thing where she was restraining North in a car after a basketball game. That's something. The Pete Davidson thing. Apparently, she like broke off with him after he proposed to her. So they had this whole thing and they were saying that maybe it was used to boost ratings for the Hulu show. And then as soon as he said he would get married, she's like, I don't get married to this guy. It's only a ratings grab. He was a big arc on that show that maybe she was using that only to manipulate the media to make her relevant, to get you to watch her show. And then the Ben Affleck thing came out with J-Lo where they're saying that she's, where he's yelling at her and slamming the door and shit. So there's all these incidents that have been going down and it's like, are these moments in time that the paparazzi are catching and abusing these celebrities and chasing after them, or could they be, let's put that out there today, could they be planned incidents to help get more awareness for their brand? Chris, I'm gonna go to you first on this one. What do you think about this situation? Do you think that these are these are normal situations that are being caught, these people are upset, or do you think someone like Kim Kardashian is planning the whole thing? I, I actually have a fun fact here, and um, mm -hmm. I'll share it with you guys. Uh, so Kim Kardashian, and J-Lo and Ben Affleck uh, all have a guy named Shiraz. And he's like a media gen genius, a media a media king. And basically what his job is, is he comes up with these, these amazing stories to like, to, you know, kind of get in the news, cause a little bit drama, disturb Hollywood. And you're relevant if you're in the news, right? The Kardashians are brilliant with branding, right? They have so many different brands. She's a billionaire, right? I think she's a, she's the first a uh, female billionaire or the fastest female billionaire. So yeah. I think She's definitely not the first, not the first, but, but the, the, huge, fast, though. the fastest under, you know, a certain age. Yeah, um, no, I agree. I think it's here. Here's the thing. Do you think Kim Kardashian, you see how celebrities roll. They're like different events, right? They, they roll up in a suburban. Uh, they have eight people in their posse that are behind them. They have their makeup stylist, their hairstylist, their shoe stylist, their, you know, wardrobe stylist. They're not alone. So do you, th do you really think that like Northwest was just left there all by herself with no one watching her? Uh, it seems like maybe a publicity stunt, right? Because I was reading the article and it said that one fan happened to notice, took one fan took a picture and said, oh, I think she's neglecting North, right? So it, it's just something to be in the news, in my opinion. And it's a guy, Shiraz. He basically creates these stunts to get people famous and to get them in the news. It's, it's pretty interesting. That's it's wild that there's someone that's out there that's like making money and putting these people into the world like that and, and making them, you know, make their star meter rise, if you will, you know, in a way, <laughs> make they're, people popular. Exactly. So there's people on Instagram, right, or your YouTube or Twitter that have millions of followers. You just don't know about them. You know about them if they're in the news, like Kim Kardashian's constantly in the news. The Met Gala was three weeks ago, right? Like or two yeah. weeks ago. And now we're still talking about the Met Gala because Kim Kardashian left North sitting out on a, you know, out on a post or something and wasn't watching her for five minutes. So really? I think they're just trying to make, they're just trying to make a new story. Well, it's interesting too, Chris, so the fact that like even the, the Pete Davidson thing, the way that lines up, I'm like, oh, as soon as like he's, well, they were saying that he was proposing to her, she broke it off, but they were using it um, on the Kardashian so much. I don't know. I read, I read several articles that said he broke up with her. Oh, well. I just, I'm just saying. I don't know. I just, I've read, I read both, several, so no one knows. I read maybe that's Sabrina. That said he broke up with her, so I don't know. I'm just saying. Well, What's maybe that? she said. Maybe it came, all came out that she wasn't going to be the kind of person he thought, and so he broke it off. What's also interesting is a lot of people you can hire paparazzi. So this guy, oh yeah, uh, Shiraz that I was mentioning, you can pay to have you know 20, 30, however many people you want. You can have 20 people come to a restaurant and ask you a special question, right? Like, hey, what are you working on next? 
And, and that's a thing. That's what people do. So uh, that just keeps them relevant. And uh, for example, Logan Paul, um, the Paul brothers, right? He fought uh, Floyd May Mayweather. Uh, they came up, they asked him a question. Hey, do you think you could beat him? And he's like, oh yeah, I could tear him apart. Well, he just got <laughs> $50 million, right? And they made, they each made $50 million and, and, and that was it. So. Damn. And that guy kind of came out of nowhere too. Like I was saying the, I think I was talking to you today or earlier today about it, about how he was like wrestling too on top of that. So he's doing that. He's like in WWE. He's also trying to get into acting more. Like he's got his YouTube stuff. And then someone like that, again, you get a million people following you on, on YouTube and all these kind of TikToks and stuff like that. It's not Vine anymore. It's a different world. It's a yeah. different world. <laughs> yeah. So what do you hand, think about that? Oh, oh, yeah, I'm get in there, Chris. No, get in there. Sabrina, yeah, Chris, get in there. Yeah, on the other hand, that. you know, North Northwest is, uh, you know, what, nine years old, eight years old or something? Yeah, nine years old. Uh, you know, maybe she just live the, let the kid live her life, right? Be a kid, you know, maybe, you know, wait till she's 14, 15, 18, you know, at least a teenager before you start exploiting her. And uh, I think they have plenty of money that they don't need to exploit her quite yet. So, you know, if it is a publicity stunt, if it was paid for, if it was, you know, all set up, I don't know. It's kind of kind of rough to do it to a nine-year-old. It is, but maybe maybe she's already kind of getting groomed a little bit where she wants the attention. And she's like, this is how we give you attention. You know, put you out there. This is how we get your attention. I'm just throwing shit at the wall, Sabrina. What do you think about this, Sabrina? Do you think this is, uh, do you think there's any kind of logic here? Do you think that there is some kind of manipulation happening in order to raise the awareness of their brand? Or do you think this is really like, devastating moments in their life where they're being taken advantage of and they're getting pictures taken and they want to stop. No, I mean, she has her own paparazzi, Kim Kardashian, that she has follow around her around all the time. And she owns all of her photographers that all of her photos that are taken by her personal paparazzi person. So like, I uh, know, I don't, I don't feel bad for anybody who like pays cameras to follow them around all the time, um, uh, which is basically what their show is. And I think that uh, Chris is 100% right that this stuff does happen all the time and no publicity is bad publicity. Um, but way before uh, Shiraz, uh, the wine slash photographer was around, uh, they had uh, the, the, the lesbian looking Kardashian mother. What's her name? Chris Jenner. The, yep, Chris Jenner. They had Chris Jenner. <laughs> They had Chris Jenner. Jenner. Well, I say that because it's funny that he had a sex change, Bruce Jenner. So it's like she she always yeah. seemed like the man in that relationship, and now he's a woman. So I guess I shouldn't have said I should have said manly. Um, but uh, she basically, you know, has been orchestrating these girls' lives their whole life. You know, who you sleep with, who you marry, who you get engaged with. The, bit, the bigger the drama, the better. You know, she realized that when Courtney was pregnant, that that they could use that because the, the ratings were kind of slumping and that they could use that. And you got you have to wait and find out who the father is, watch the show, and then you'll find out. And that caused the spike in ratings. And like, you know, like they, all this crazy crap that they do, I feel like a very good portion of it is specifically so that they can keep the money coming in. So it's kind of like selling your soul to the devil, if you ask me. And that, it's unfortunate because these children have to get wrapped up and like, look at the two Jenner children. Like they grew up in that stuff. They were totally normal girls. Now they're all Botoxed out, have 19 babies. Like, I don't, it's like ridiculous. Like you just rolled right into this like dumpster fire of a family. And now you're a part. Now they all have money. Fine. Great. Oh, good yeah. for you. But they're all like raging lunatics. Like none of these people are stable. You know what I mean? And like, how could you like, I mean, like you said, nine year old kid, I'm, I, Kanye, if he was a little bit more lucid, I'm sure he would take her to, to court and get those children. But I, I don't think anybody would ever award anything to him, not even a pet ge gecko. But um, I, these kids are <laughs> fucked, in my opinion. I think it's ridiculous. And <laughs> I, I feel bad for the kids. But I felt bad for those two Jenners. And now they're, you know, they're, they're Kardashians now. Like they've, they have fully evolved. I can't, every, every time I see any of them, it makes me ill. Like I, I feel bad for them, but they also make me angry. And it like kind of shifted everyone's priorities. Like they, like it made like society even messed up. Like, like it's, it's where like it started people like becoming obsessive over these types of things. And like, you know, the, the whole voyeurism looking into people's lives with the reality television and shit, like that's where it came from. You know what I mean? Like before that reality TV was like cops, you know what I mean? Like, I know it's, it's a totally different ball game, but everyone's like obsessed yeah. with, you know, oh, you've died. They dyed their hair blonde. Oh, they, oh, that being skinny is in now. Oh, they're oh, pregnant. Being is oh, in now. Look, oh, having look a how their hair looks today. Like they oh. literally set trends. Like it's insane. And the or amount so. of plastic surgery, by the way, that all of these people had is very, very bad for people's bodies image. You know what I mean? Like that's all they do. Like just go and have plastic surgery every 10 minutes. I recently did a deep dive of before and afters of these people. Like, I don't know why. I don't know what happened. 
I think it's because Chloe looks so different. I saw her and I was like, that's not the same person. And so then I did like a side by side of everyone and it is absolutely alarming. You know what? Bruce Jenner is not the person who looks like he had the most plastic surgery. That's all I have to say. Okay. <laughs> it's a lot. So I don't, I'm not surprised at all. Those people will do anything for money, literally anything. I mean, she basically prostituted herself for money when she leaked that sex tape with her and Ray J. That's how they became famous in the first place. Or she became famous. You know what I mean? But like, it's pretty it's, wild that they have someone like this that's making money just doing this, putting this I out mean, there, creating sense. these scenes, finding Publicists out where they can get the most like buzz. all the time. Yep. Yeah, it's true. The sex tape was leaked, you know? Yeah. So yeah, it's, leaked. It was leaked. Yeah. yeah. It, it was, was leaked. It was yes. leaked by you because you want to be famous. It was leaked by her mom. I'm pretty sure her mom did it. You know what I mean? Yeah. But like that's and that was her jumping off point to be like, everyone's talking about my daughter right now. Not not no, oh, not, she's not so hot oh right my now. god, my poor daughter, she was getting banged on television. Like, that's cool with you. Let's get no. a reality show going. That's where her brain went. How so can we bank off this? I, I have zero. But she's been trying to plan that people, for years. Honestly. She had a whole yeah. thing of like 15 minutes to 30 minutes or something like that for fame. Mm -hmm. She's like, how do I keep manipulating this so my my quick, you know, 30 seconds of fame turns into a whole yep. franchise? And how do I keep bending and manipulating hey, listen, the media and life to get here? She did. She did. It. Shit, her and yeah, Shiraz, really did. they did it. Congratulations, yeah, sure. they did it. dumpster fire good, good, family. Good, Enjoy. good for Shiraz. I mean, I mean, honestly, getting in there and taking advantage of that situation and making some money and and knowing how to do it, you know, knowing how to run that franchise, that's huge. Like, I, I'd imagine he's the person you want behind him. Hit us up, I Shiraz. Mean, let's talk. <laughs> if you had a, like, let's say you had a publicist, right? And, uh, like, you know, you were kind of doing, like, small things, but nothing tremendous. You had a publicist. Now, the publicist is also Kim Kardashian's publicist. Then you can be like, hey, Kim, uh, we're going to have you just walk down the street with this guy for 10 minutes. We'll give you, you know, whatever, some money or, you know, I don't know what, what she eats. Like, I don't know, granola bars, like whatever. For, if you could just walk down the street with this guy, he's one of my clients. Do me a favor, right? So you walk down the street with Kim Kardashian. Shiraz takes 300 pictures. Everyone's like, who is this dude with Kim Kardashian? And then all of a sudden, right? boom, Brian Cruz overnight. Everyone in the whole world knows who you are. Everyone. Well, Let's hey, do guys. it. There's news stories, Twitters, uh, <laughs> Instagrams. Everyone's like, who is he? Who is he? Who is he? And then you leak, it. it's Brian Cruz. Oh my God, there you go. Boom, you blew up. That's that's exactly how Kim Kardashian started though. She started with uh, Paris Hilton. She was her stylist. And she would just follow her around everywhere she went. Shiraz's people would get pictures of her walking into clubs. I, I don't know if you remember Tara Reid, like uh, knocked out of a club one time and uh, Paris Hilton walked right in with, uh, with uh, Kim Kardashian. And she was with her every step of the way. And then she would t she would hop in the car next to Paris Hilton, Britney Spears, and Kim Kardashian just for the picture. And then everyone mm -hmm. thought that Paris, Britney, and Kim Kardashian were best friends. And it was just for one, yes. one second. So that's exactly yeah. how Kim Kardashian started. It was off the heels of Paris Hilton. And, and now here she is. And then she slid into Ray worked. J's DMs and got that sex tape going. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it worked for them, you know? And that's sometimes how people manipulate the media to get where they want to be.